so it's another international break and I always think these are a good time to take stock of where Liverpool are up to so far this season and that's particularly true when there's a new manager in charge in Arna slot. Now yesterday over on my sub stack I took a look at whether this Liverpool side really are title challenges. I looked at some of the benchmarks set over the last few years and where Liverpool stack up in terms of those and whether we can expect that they will sustain this performance across the season and maybe go on and lift that Premier League title. And while I mention my sub stack, if you're not a subscriber over there, I have to ask why not. Uh, you're missing out on loads. Obviously, it's transfer news, statistics, analysis, everything you could want about Liverpool FC is over there. So I please do urge you to, to go and check it out. Even if you want to just try out a subscription for just a month, um, I'm sure you'll be happy with it. Everyone who subscribes seems to be. So really proud of the work I'm doing over there. And if you can subscribe, it's helpful. It really supports me to keep doing this job, which I absolutely love to do, which is covering Liverpool, talking about Liverpool. And hopefully you guys will enjoy that. So if you want to check it out, it's at David Lynch, lfc.co.uk. Now, I wanted to do something slightly different in the video today in terms of looking at where Liverpool are up to, and that is to really examine, as I say, the fact that there's been a change in the dugout at Liverpool. So what influence has that had on how they play and how they are as a team? Have we seen huge changes since Jurgen Klopp stepped down and on a slot? became the new manager. I really wanted to have a look if there's been any real leap stylistically that we can notice in this early part of the season. Only 11 Premier League games into Arna Slot's reign, but I think there's some interesting points we can go through here to see how things have changed under this manager. Now, I feel like a good place to start really is in terms of the formation. It was a bit of a talking point coming into this season, wasn't it? Liverpool had been nailed really to that 4-3-3 formation under Jurgen Klopp for so long. So were they going to change under a new manager? All that talk of Ruben Amorim potentially bringing a back three and in the end they got Arne Slot. So how has he changed things in, in terms of the formation? Now the way I want to look at this as starting points to bring up a little graphic here for what Liverpool's passing network was like under Jurgen Klopp in his final season there. And I think you can really see in this a very, very clear formation, very, very kind of rigid there. It's a clear 4-3-3, isn't it, with two advanced number eights in midfield, which we were so used to seeing. And obviously that lone defensive midfielder who had ridiculous amounts of work to get through, obviously Endo in Klopp's last season. But before that, we saw Fabinho really thriving there. Now, I think this is the area where you can see an immediate change has happened. When I bring up the passing network from this season so far, you can see, despite the fact that Arna Slot, when he was asked about a 4-2-3-1 in one of his early press conferences at Liverpool, he really pushed back on the idea that that was the formation he preferred. And yet, if you look at this passing network here, I really do think you can see a 4-2-3-1, can't you? You can see the two defensive midfielders there as a, a pairing. Obviously, the fullbacks are still high as they were under Jurgen Klopp, but you can see that that two, that two bank of two midfielders in front. Obviously, the, the attacking midfielder is maybe slightly more tucked in than you ex expect. You maybe expect him to be closer to the centre-forward, and we've seen a bit of that in terms of how Liverpool have actually set up with Soberslai really advanced at times. But I think the clear 4-2-3-1 is there, and I think the, the denials from Arna Slot, maybe he went a little bit too far in those, because I think his preferred formation, just as it was with Jurgen Klopp, is quite clear there's been a, a, a quite clear change in how Liverpool set up but one more thing I want to notice for, or mention sorry from these passing networks as well one big change here is you can see Mo Salah's positioning he's in a much wider position under Arna Slot than he maybe was under Jurgen Klopp and that kind of tallies actually with what we've seen so far doesn't it we see that he's taken up those wider positions yes he's still coming inside a lot and getting in, into areas where he can score goals and set them up but his initial starting position where he seems to be initially passing from is a lot wider than we may be used to he's more that inside forward under Klopp but slot happy to have him start out in wider positions so that's a real change that we've noticed now in terms of these general points another one I want to kind of look at as well is is the passing now, it was spoken about before Slot came here, wasn't it, that this was going to be a real shift for Liverpool. It was going to be a more kind of patient style of possession, more akin to maybe Guardiola than this heavy metal football we've been used to under Jurgen Klopp. And what I thought was really interesting, actually, is I looked into the statistics behind this, and actually we haven't really seen any evidence of that so far. So in Klopp's final season, I had a look at the, the percentages of the passes and how they were, were kind of split up, and we saw 50% short passes, 43% medium passes and 7% long passes. So that's in terms of the length of the passes. Now under slot, you might expect the short passes would go right up as they would under maybe a Guardiola. But we just, as I say, haven't seen that at all really. 49% short passes under slot, 
43% medium, so exactly the same, and 8% long, so very, you know, only tiny 1% differences in the short and long there, um, and actually more long in slots favor by just that little 1%, so no difference there, which I think is interesting. We were, we were told to expect a real stylistic change in terms of that, and it is still early days, but we haven't just seen that yet really in terms of the passing, and I thought that was an interesting one to, to point out, though we have seen that slight formation tweak definitely that is very clear in these early stages now away from the general points i want to drill down a little bit deeper now and i'm going to start by looking at the defense and i think the headline figures really and the best place to start when talking about this is the fact that liverpool have conceded just six goals in 11 premier league games so far now to put that in context how good that performance is that means that if they continue at this rate, they will concede just 20 goals in a Premier League season, which would be the third best record that any side has had in Premier League history. The best of those is Chelsea in 2004-2005, conceded just 15 goals under Jose Mourinho. Ridiculous record that maybe will never be beaten, to be honest. And in 98-99, Arsenal conceded just 17. Interestingly, they didn't actually win the title that season. Manchester United did. So imagine only conceding 17 goals and, and not winning the title. Um, pretty amazing, really. Really, but it just shows you that Liverpool will be third best behind those two sides if they go on at this current rate of conceding goals and that's down to the fact that if you look at the expected goals against that's right down 0.85 expected goals against per match so far this season so that's very very low conceding less than a goal a match or expected goal a match and last season it was 1.2 expected goals against per match so we've seen a real difference there that slot has seemingly made his team a lot tighter, a lot more hard to, to score against. But I guess the real question is, stylistically, how has he done that? How has he managed to do that? And I think I've got a really good graphic, actually, that kind of really indicates the differences in the, the defensive style of these two managers. Now, if you look at Klopp there on the, the left-hand side, you can see the defensive style there of his team and shows that the 92nd percentile for high press. Now, if you don't know what percentile means, it basically means if you're in your 92nd percentile, that only 8% of sides would press higher than Jurgen Klopp's team. So they were right up there. They were one of the most aggressive uh, high pressing teams. They're also 63rd percentile uh, for, for aggression as well. And I think, again, the statistics kind of underline this. Liverpool last season in the Premier League, they were third placed for uh, final third tackles, so 2.97 final third tackles per 90 minutes. So the, that shows you really a really aggressive, high pressing side, all the things that we knew about Jurgen Klopp's side, but the statistics and that wagon wheel really kind of backs that up. And then you look under slot, and we've seen a real change in terms of that. that last se this season so far, the 14th for final third tackles with 2.36 per 90 minutes, so a lot less aggressive. And you can see in that wagon wheel again that I'll show you, 68 uh, percentile for, for high press and so there's been a real drop off from that 92nd percentile where they were they're now down to 68th percentile and aggression gone all the way down to the 26th percentile so 74 percent of sides are more aggressive than liverpool this season so they really are they're, they're pressing a lot less they're less aggressive in that and i think we have seen that we can see that on the pitch that they, they defend in that different way but what i will say is that there's no right or wrong way and although Liverpool are defending in a different way, less aggressive, less of that high pressing, it's clearly working for them because as I say, the expected goals against and the numbers uh, are really, really working out. Now, there's a couple of other graphics actually I want to show you here to, to kind of show how they're doing that and if I get up the, the graphics for ground challenges across the season and, and, and stylistically how that looked under Jurgen Klopp and you can see that it's kind of a little bit of a gap in the middle of the pitch under Jurgen Klopp there. And, and that's because a lot of what Liverpool were trying to do is nick the ball in high places, trying to win the challenges there, trying to push sides out to flanks. But it was one of the criticisms under Jurgen Klopp, wasn't it? That it was a bit of weakness in the centre of the pitch and Liverpool were at times too easy to play through. If they didn't get that high press working exactly right and they didn't nick the ball high up the pitch sides could kind of play through them and they would find gaps in the middle and midfield was sighted as a real area of weakness. Now you show the ground challenges under slot and it immediately, I think it stands out. You can see there's now some red in the middle there. That is where Alexis McAllister and, and Ryan Gravenberg are there together, just perched in front of that defense, just trying to nick balls and they're trying to, they're, they're making Liverpool much more solid in the middle. So that's a clear benefit, I think, of the formation that Liverpool uh, are playing under this new manager with those two in front of the back four, but also shows that the style has slightly changed in terms of not quite trying to win it as high up the pitch 
um, and, and being less aggressive, but getting back into that kind of bank and trying to win the ball there and, and trying to win it in front of the back four or with the back four. And again, we can see this stylistic change again in the ball recoveries that we've seen so far. If you look at this kind of heat map that I can get up now, and ball recoveries under Jurgen Klopp last season, look at them, they're kind of all over the pitch, really aggressive, Liverpool just ratting about, trying to win the ball in any area of the pitch they can, and then you change it to under slot, and quite clearly, a lot more of those wins are in central areas, inside the box, so Liverpool are absolutely happy for sides to get to a certain point, get themselves back in shape, and then win the ball there and, and make sure that they've got numbers back to do it. And again, we've seen it in the performances. Liverpool really, really good in recovering back into shape. The manager spoke about the importance of that and making sure you've got bodies in the box to block the shot or get the header away or whatever, just doing the proper old school defending. And that is really what we've seen under slot so far is a lot less aggressive, but they are very capable at getting bodies back and being defensively strong. So defending in numbers and as I say, it's absolutely working. They've got the best defence in the league and the best expected goals again. So the underlying numbers back up that this is a very strong defensive side. But it also shows that it's a very different way of defending under this manager. And that is one of the real changes that we've seen under his reign so far. And I thought that was really interesting. Now I'm going to move onto the attack now and kind of have a look at that. And again, I think these wagon wheels are really, really useful in terms of comparing how the style uh, has changed really from manager to manager. And one of the things I think jumps out immediately is that actually something that might surprise you is that counter-attacks are actually up under Arna Slot. Now this was seen as a real Jurgen Klopp trademark, but actually in this first part of the season under Arna Slot, we've seen a lot of counter-attacking, a lot of goals. You know, you think those two goals against Aston Villa, there have been countless others throughout the season as well. And that, that Liverpool have just looked really, really deadly in terms of counter-attack. So that, interestingly, is actually up. And uh, yeah, not something you maybe would have expected. But also, other things to note from this, I think. Look, that Liverpool, you can see, they cross less. They create fewer, fewer chances. Flank and central entry. So areas where they are coming in to attack the opposition. Both of those are down. And you might look at that and think, well, what we're clearly seeing here under Arna Slot is a worse attack than what we saw under Jurgen Klopp. But actually, I don't think that that is the case. And this is the reason, because you look, finishing is up. Liverpool have jumped up in the percentile in the finishing. They're finishing better. And the final third uh, threat, they remain around similar percentile for that as well. So they're clearly still a very threatening side and they're finishing the chances slightly better. So why is that? Why are they still sustaining that despite the fact that they clearly are attacking a little bit less than they did under Jurgen Klopp. Now, to kind of examine this, I took a look at Liverpool's shots from the first 11 games of this season. Now, there are 153 of them so far, and you just kind of look at that shot map that I can put in front of you there, um, and I think that gives you an idea of where these shots have come from, these 150 shot, 53 shots. And then, as by comparison, I'll show you the first 11 games of last season. Now, Liverpool took 196 shots in that time over the first 11 games of last season. That tallies with what I'm saying about the idea that they are attacking a bit less. But look at where those shots are from in comparison. They're everywhere. So, so many long-distance shots absolutely peppering the opposition goal. But some of them just taking a chance from, from absolutely everywhere to, to get in a shot off, which... Clearly, the, the the difference that Slot has wanted to make here, I think that these shot maps really show you, is that he wants fewer but better quality shots. And again, this is supported by the data. So we can see in 23-24 over last season that Liverpool took shots on average from 17.2 yards out. Now, it was the sixth highest distance in the Premier League. So right up there. And again, it just echoes really what we saw in that shot map. They were shooting from absolutely everywhere. And now they're down to 12th highest distance with just 16 yards from goal. So they're clearly, I think, being a little bit more selective about where they shoot from. So under Jurgen Klopp, and, and this is something we felt about Jurgen Klopp's style anyway, particularly in that last season, that it was all about high quantity of chances, high quantity of shots, and hoping that kind of works out for you, that if you take a high quantity of shots, you end up with the right amount of goals. Whereas so Liverpool now... They're being selective, they're trying to get high quality chances and shooting far, far closer to goal and being a bit more choosy about it. And, and I think it's fair to say as well that, again, this is kind of working out for them. I mean, you looked, they were third top scorers, Liverpool, last season, despite taking more shots than anybody else, despite absolutely peppering the opposition goal and having high XG numbers. And now they're, they're 
being more selective about the shots, but they're still the third highest top scorers so far this season. And they're only two behind uh, Tottenham. So Liverpool have got 21 goals. Tottenham have got 23. They're the top scorers. So it doesn't seem that, despite the fact they're being more choosy about the shots and they're taking a lot less of them, it doesn't seem there's been a real attacking drop-off. And in fact, because there's only two goals between them and Tottenham, they could maybe overtake them in the next few weeks. We could see that kind of track upwards. Be really interesting to see how that plays out. But I think, again... We're just looking for stylistic differences. And I think, again, just shows you really what Arna Slot is embedded into his side in terms of the attack, is that he wants them to be more selective with the shots. He wants high-quality shots. He doesn't want them just peppering the goal. And that is a real change that we've seen in terms of how Liverpool are approaching things in the final third in the start to this season. So to kind of sum it up, really, I think we've looked at the defence, we've looked at the formation, the attack. And I think one of the kind of takeaways, really, is that we have seen some big changes from Arna Slot already. I think we're seeing Liverpool defending deeper, but much more solidly than they were under Jurgen Klopp. And as I say, the attack, much more picky about shooting. And in terms of the formation, definitely move towards that 4-2-3-1 as much as he might like to deny it. But I will also say that this is very much kind of a, a work in progress. I imagine that Slot will want the press to work better. He won't want Liverpool to be quite as passive as they have been in this early part of the season. And I would also imagine that he want more of the attacks to be, uh, you know, sustained attacks and ones where Liverpool pick the opposition apart rather, you know, maybe counter-attacking less than they have. Um, but it's, I think regardless of that, and those changes are still to come and he's still got a lot of time. It's still very early in his range. Uh, in his reign I still think it's interesting that he's been able to make significant changes so far to this team in terms of their style of play and ones that clearly with Liverpool sat top of the Premier League five points clear of Manchester City nine points clear of Arsenal that these changes are clearly working in Liverpool's favour so long may that continue so I'm going to wrap it up there Please do let me know in the comments what you thought of this, what you think of my analysis. Uh, do you want to see more of this on the channel? But also, how do you think that things have changed between Jurgen Klopp and, and, and Arna Slot? Is there anything I maybe missed there? Interested to hear your thoughts and whether you think that this performance under Slot so far is sustainable and Liverpool can go on and win the league. Please do let me know uh, on that. And as ever, if you can like and subscribe, I would massively, massively appreciate that. Ex experiencing huge growth on the channel so far. So uh, that's absolutely fantastic. and want to continue that. And I will, of course, push you to my Substack again. More analysis like this, all the written stuff. There's podcasts on there, transfer news, absolutely everything you might want. Uh, so do check that out at David Lynch LFC. And I'm going to leave it there. If you can let me know in the comments what you thought, that's absolutely fantastic. And I'll see you guys very, very soon.